Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code called Biggest Single Number and walk you through how we can develop queries in such problems. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called my numbers, which has only one column whose data type is integer. There is no primary key for this table. So obviously if it is not a primary key, then it is possible that it may contain duplicates and each row of this table contains an integer. What we are asked to do, a single number is a number that appeared only once in the, in the my numbers table. Okay. We are asked, write a SQL query to report the largest single number. Okay, so a number that appeared only once in this table. If there is no single number, report null. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we are given a bunch of numbers, 8 is twice, 3 is twice, and then 1, 4, 5, 6 are only ones. So obviously, of all the numbers that are only once present in this table, so those are 1, 4 and 5, 6, we need to return the largest single number. So the largest among 1, 4, 5, 6 is 6. So that is what it is explained here. Okay. Now, uh, another example. So in this case, there is no number which is only present once, right? So 8 is present twice, 7 is present twice, 3 is present thrice. So in these cases, report null. Okay. So what do we need to do first? You can think of it that the first thing that we need to do is firstly count how many times each of these dis different numbers that are present in this table occur, right? So we can do is from this table, my numbers, we group by the number column or we group by these different numbers that are present in this table. Okay. Now it is asked for us to report the largest single number. So obviously we are only interested in keeping those numbers where the count is one, right? Now again, here we need to filter results, right? So for filtering, we can use either where or we can use having, but there is a difference between where and having. So since here we need to filter based on an aggregate value, that is the count of something, right? So here we will be using having clause. So having, the, so basically only keep those rows or those numbers which are occurring once so having count of the number equal to one okay and then return those numbers which are only occurring once in this table okay now we can do what we can do is so now from this uh, this table we will be having all those numbers which are occurring once, right? And based on this, now we want to report uh, the largest single number if there is uh, any, any number that is present or if there is no single number present, so we report none. So again, like uh, what I like to do in these cases is always uh, wrap this in a common table expression because it runs only once and I have discussed this in detail in the previous videos as well. So it runs only once, it saves a huge amount of storage and it and the execution speed gets faster. The way we write a common table expression is we start with a with clause and then we give the name to the common table expression. So you can do whatever. I just li like to put it at CTE. So the short form of common table expression and then you write as the keyword as and whatever uh, query you have written you need to enclose the entire thing into parentheses okay now so what did we have from this all those numbers 
which are present only once in my numbers table okay now from this common table expression so from this list of numbers what do we want to do we want to return the maximum value of the number but when a number is present right else we have to return null so you see there are two conditions here so like in a particular condition you need to return something and in in the other condition you have to return something else so here we find the use of case when then statements so case when count star greater than zero why did that do this so let's say in this case right so after this query gets executed on this uh, what this common table expression will have one four five six and count star is basically giving what the count of all the rows so there would be four rows so four rows or basically greater than zero rows means yes there was at least one number which occurred once in this my numbers table right and if let's say after execution there are no rows present right so for example in this example too right so once this query runs on this part it will it won't have any number right so in that case uh, we have to return null okay so when the number of rows returned from this uh, this query is greater than zero then what do we need to return the maximum value of the number so out of one four five six return the max value and else so the only uh, time the else ca case will run is when it is e is equal to or less than zero obviously it cannot be less than zero so it would be equal to zero so else you return null value and then you end the case when statement and since if you see in both of these examples the the column name of the output is num right num so we alias it as num okay so yeah let's go ahead and run this query and see if it gets accepted or not okay so this is ex accepted and our output is same as expected output let's go ahead and submit it and see if it passes all the test cases or not so yeah it is accepted and this is how we solve such kind of problems remember always read the question carefully and see what it is being asked and you know common table expressions are a great way to uh, write your code in a very neat and efficient manner we didn't need common table expression in this case so what could i have done if i don't want to use common table expression so after this and then i would have to include include this into the sub query of this statement right so that is another thing uh, why we should use common table expression because it gives you a logic and even if you are reading this code you understand right so firstly i return all those numbers which are present once and then i uh, saved it in a common table expression cte and then from those uh, from that cte i count if there is anything present if if it is return the maximum value if nothing is present so return the null value and it aligns perfectly with what is being asked so yeah, let me know if you guys found this useful and I will see you guys in the next video.